prepare yourself for another fascinating exploration of what the future might hold for us. In this video, we'll journey all the way to the year 2200 and envision how technology, science, and social structures will have transformed the world. From space exploration to artificial intelligence and climate change, we'll explore the possibilities and potential future challenges. Join us on this exciting journey of imagination and exploration as we delve into the world of 2200. Let's jump right in. Synthetic humans are common. By 2200, synthetic humans have become a common sight. Advancement in technologies has led to the full human body, including the brain, now being possible to be built artificially in its entirety. In every conceivable manner, artificial brains are substantially better than biological ones. They have a computational capacity that is millions of times greater than that of biological brains. The most advanced sort of synthetic brain may accomplish a century's worth of intellectual advancement in less than a second, from the viewpoint of someone in the early 2000s. Each form of synthetic brain has a different level of processing capability and memory, and they are sold at different price points. Strength, endurance, speed, and agility can all be increased in synthetic bodies beyond biological bodies. They can also endure some of the most hostile settings in the solar system, depending on how they're tailored. There are also reasonably priced synthetic bodies with obvious mechanical components that are more accessible to the general public. Antimatter starships. Antimatter starships represent a new era for space exploration and travel, utilizing cutting edge technology to reach nearby stars at incredible speeds. These ships use a unique ring design that contains matter-antimatter fuel, which releases vast amounts of energy upon collision to provide the necessary thrust for propulsion. This design also enables the ship to project fields that protect it from hazards during its deep space missions. With the ability to travel at 90 to 99% the speed of light, these ships can reach Earth-like planets within 100 light years, bringing us one step closer to the dream of interstellar colonization. Antimatter starships are still in the early stages of development, but they hold potential to revolutionize space travel and enable us to explore the universe like never before. The world's first bicentenarians. The world is witnessing a remarkable feat in the form of the first bicentenarians, people who have reached over 200 years of age. These individuals will already be in their 30s and 40s today and have benefited from the remarkable advancements in medicine, healthcare, education, and life choices. At the turn of the 21st century, life expectancy has increased at a rate of 0.2 years per year, which meant that people in their 80s could expect to live an additional decade. However, the rate of increase in life expectancy has been accelerating due to breakthroughs in medicine and healthcare. These breakthroughs have given people a stepping stone by allowing them to buy time for the treatments that would become available later. One of the most significant breakthroughs is the ability to halt the aging process altogether. People over 200 years old have benefited from these treatments and enjoy a quality of life that was previously unimaginable. The world's first bicentenarians are living proof that we can extend the human lifespan and improve the quality of life for everyone. As medicine and healthcare continue to advance, we may see more and more people living to 200 years and beyond. This could have significant implications for our lives, from our careers to our relationships and retirement. The possibilities are endless and the future looks bright for those willing to embrace the remarkable advancements transforming our world. Efforts to rewilding the globe. Global rewilding is a concept that aims to reverse the catastrophic damage caused by human activity over the past three centuries. The loss of more than half of approximately 30 million known species of flora and fauna due to pollution, climate change, deforestation, mining, agriculture, urban sprawl, overfishing and hunting has resulted in the sixth mass extinction in Earth's history. This has led to permanent damage to countless habitats, making large tracts of the world essentially lifeless. Global rewilding seeks to reintroduce and restore ecosystems and species that have been lost or are endangered, aiming to create a more sustainable and balanced planet. This ambitious effort involves the regeneration of forests, the restoration of wetlands and grasslands, and the reintroduction of keystone species, such as wolves and beavers. Global rewilding aims to promote biodiversity and strengthen ecological resilience by restoring natural habitats. While this is a long and challenging process, it offers hope that the world can once again become a thriving and healthy environment for all species, including humans. Conventional employment becomes redundant. The future of work has arrived and conventional employment is becoming redundant. Thanks to technological advancements and changing cultural attitudes, humans are moving away from drudge jobs and into their own personal creative and intellectual pursuits. As cognitive abilities are enhanced and machines are taking on more complex roles, the line between work and play blurs. 
By 2200, essential items such as food, energy, and clothing are mostly free, thanks to replicator technology. Everything has been automated and digitized, making life easier and safer. Robots have even taken over emergency services, and physical crimes have largely been eradicated. This new reality has led to a decline in working hours, with the average person employed for under 30 hours per week by 2050, 20 hours by 2100, and becoming largely obsolete by 2200. As machines take on more roles, average spending on household items and utilities decline. Instead, people spend their time in virtual reality environments, engaging in complex simulations that offer perfect recreations of the real world. Physical society and culture still exist, but most people eschew them in favor of the godlike abilities that they can experience online. Moore's Law is reaching its limit. Moore's Law, the observation made by Intel co-founder Gordon Moore in 1965 that the number of transistors on a microchip doubles roughly every two years, has been the driving force behind the rapid progress of technology for decades. However, as we approach the mid-21st century, Moore's Law is reaching its physical limits. As computer substrates become increasingly dense and efficient, the issue of heat management becomes a significant problem. Generating the vast amount of computational power that modern devices require would produce the equivalent of a thermonuclear explosion. The new physics has solved technical considerations for this and other challenges. For example, Super AI is now creating subatomic matrices at unimaginably tiny scales, ultra-compact designs using diamondoid-like materials and fractalized structures with recursive properties for encoding information at levels far below even cytotechnology are being used. Despite these advances, Moore's law is approaching its end because the laws of physics dictate that it's no longer possible to cram more transistors onto a microchip. Scientists and engineers are now focusing on developing new technologies like quantum computing and neuromorphic computing. Colonization of large parts of the solar system. In the 23rd century, humanity expanded its reach throughout the solar system with countless technological and engineering advancements aided by the vast growth of AI, which dominates the planetary and interplanetary government. On Mercury, colonies move on giant train tracks, always staying in a certain area to maintain the optimum temperature and brightness. Meanwhile, on Venus, a massive terraforming effort is underway, with automated crafts redirecting water-rich comets to the planet's upper atmosphere and genetically engineered bacteria being seeded on the ground. The moon has millions of permanent inhabitants, with entire cities growing around the original Apollo landing sites. And on Mars, where independence was declared from Earth, terraforming efforts are proceeding on schedule, with a hyperfast automated rail network crisscrossing the planet's surface and several giant orbital mirrors in place. But the most intriguing development is the thousands of asteroids now being mined. Thanks to advances in nanotechnology, these rocky bodies can be stripped atom by atom, with precious metals harvested for use in high-tech industries, and volatiles, such as water, supplied wherever needed. These expected developments in the solar system will impact the Earth as well. In the year 2200, we will see a future where technology has advanced to unimaginable heights, and humans have expanded beyond Earth to settle on other planets and moons in the solar system. From synthetic human brains and bodies, to colonies on Mercury, and the terraforming of Venus, and from hyperfast rail networks on Mars to asteroid mining throughout the solar system. This presents a vision of humanity's boundless ambition and ingenuity. If you enjoyed this video, we recommend you check out our other videos in this series, Exploring the World of the Future. And also, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to Future Tech Enthusiast for more exciting videos in the future. And while you're at it, hit that bell icon to make sure you get notified whenever we release new videos. See you next time.